So that's part of the trick of the trade, right? Um, so that's the beauty of it. Um, and what I mean is once you frame what it's worth, if you're not close enough, Lou, I will never make the first offer. But if we're close enough, I don't mind making an offer because it's not going to really change that much anyway. Um, and the reason why we're able to get as many collections as we do is because of, you know, the, the straightforward me uh, method that we have in dealing with folks. And we already know if we value the collection and we don't agree, there's no reason to take it any further. Yes, and one of the uh, unfortunate but yet popular lines is we are not able to pay for someone's sentimental value. And, and it's hard for some folks to understand that. And so for whatever it's worth, I think another great thing that we do when we buy especially bigger collections is um, we put it in a spreadsheet and try to document as many of the individual line items as possible and then summarize where necessary. Therefore, let's just say you get to the end of the collection, Lou, and you know what? You have the price that you're happy with, but, you know, Aunt Mima gave you this Mickey Mantle card, and even though it's got a hole in it and a sticker on the back, you didn't realize it's only worth 80 bucks. You're like, can I take that out of the deal? Sure. Let's subtract it. No problem. Absolutely. This is a nice, uh, nice card right here. Put this in the sleeve. I'm not sure this is a decent 10. We'll grade this for you if uh, it looks real clean. This is a Griffey, just a regular die cut, but I, I see uh, 90s inserts are picking up a little bit. So I was talking to Jim C. about that. Cool card. Yeah, love Griffey and the Mariners uniforms. Oh, and you have a hollow view coming up. It's a nice, uh, a nice pack. Brian Harvey. Oh, wow. The Leafs fired their coach. The Leafs, someone just wrote in the chat, the Leafs fired their coach, Mike Babbick. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know, I know, I know. Hey. <laughs> you really know how to get the salt in there, Lou. <laughs> Shocked. I was disgruntled, dismayed, and very, very, you know, upset. Definitely. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got here. No A Rod in this pack. And I guess we maybe we, didn't, we can get a foil rookie because we got an insert. I'm not really sure if that's how it works, but that's what it looks like in this pack. Did you see the new uh, Hall of Fame ballot? It's, I mean, huge. So many names that honestly, some of them are just laughable. Exactly, just the ballot itself. Like, shouldn't there be a certain? I don't know. I I feel like I used to understand it when I was a kid. It was something I really enjoyed debating with my dad uh, and a few other folks. And now, it's like, what would you debate? It's it's it just seems fruitless. Yeah, we're.